aliasing effect. Suppose this is a message signal with corresponding bandwidth. The bandwidth is speared from minus W to plus W for this message. Let's sample the channel with Nyquist rate, meaning the sampling frequency is at least equal to twice of the message bandwidth. From the graph, it means this frequency gap is at least 2W. This condition must be satisfied in order to successfully transmit and receive a signal. Now let's see what happens when the Nyquist theorem is not followed, meaning the sampling frequency is less than 2W. Here, the sampled bandwidth gets closer and closer, and at some points it overlaps each other. To extract the transmitted message at the receiver side, let's assume that this is the transfer function of a bandpass filter. The original message cannot be extracted here because the overlapping bandwidth causes distortion of the original message. This effect is known as the aliasing effect. Thanks for watching the video.